wrote it because it, it takes the scariness out of cooking and gardening, which are both quite scary. I agree, and I, I mean, although it's based on a lot of humour, it also hopefully gives people some help on how to cook and garden, and takes the hassle out of it and makes it creative and fun. Yeah, which is not what comes across in things like Gardener's World and cookery programmes. Do you remember when I asked you about planting tulips and I was sort of afraid of planting tulips? I did buy the bulbs, which you suggested, but I've got a confession to make. It's now February the 12th and I still haven't planted them. And mine are still in the garage too. But like I said to you last year, I didn't plant mine until January. And it kind of doesn't, it kind of doesn't matter. The rules are there to be broken. So literally, if you've got some tulips, which actually I have, and they're sprouting, we can try and put them in and see what happens. Yeah, we could go out now and do them, I promise you. You might as, you might as well give it a go, because otherwise you're not going to have any tulips anyway. True, and as we said, this is what this book's about, giving it a go. So for example, I found your hints and tips really useful. When I was making soup, and you just said, buy frozen butternut squash. That's right. I've got a really good recipe with frozen butternut squash, and it really does take 20 minutes. And if you've got some fresh herbs at the end, throw them in. And you've got a delicious homemade soup. I like to show you recipes that don't scare you and don't scare anyone. And I think quite a lot of the time, people look at these programs or they read their books and think, I just can't do that. I've just got in from work. I've got to put someone to bed. I literally haven't got time to make homemade stuff. But I hope that this book shows that really, without being patronising, everybody can. And to an extent, that's the same about gardening. Books about gardening can be really dry and really very dull. I think you've just got to get out there, have a go, and if something dies, it doesn't matter. You can always have another go next year. I hope with this book we can show that it's not only enlightening, humorous and interesting, but also that it makes people get out there and have a go at all these things. Uh, Unbound make really beautiful, creative and interesting books and we hope that Rhubarb Rhubarb is just that.